Welcome to the Vicha Dark Souls 2 guide. At any point you can click on the icon in the right hand corner of the screen to be taken to other Dark Souls 2 related guides. In this video we're going to discuss how to complete the storyline for Lucatil of Mira. For completing the quest line you'll receive an entire set of Lucatil's equipment. Alright, so let's get started. The main objective is to find Lucatil in four different locations across Drang Lake. After locating Lucatil and exhausting her dialogue at each location she will then be eligible to be a summon for a corresponding boss encounter. Within the same playthrough, Lucatil must be summoned and survive three of four of these boss encounters. Before I go into greater detail with Lucatil's differing locations and boss encounters, it should be stated that purchasing the Red Eye Ring from Shalquar and Medjool is not a must, but comes highly recommended. Especially since the Red Eye Ring will keep the boss focused on you. This will nearly ensure Lucatil's survival for each boss fight, and she'll actually be useful by attacking the boss while their attention is solely on you. Alright, first let's discuss where to find Lucatil in each location to exhaust her dialogue, followed by summon locations for the corresponding boss encounter. These can be done in any order, but this is most likely the order in which you will encounter her. First is after the Dragon Rider boss fight in Hades Tower, just before No Man's Wharf. Lucatil will be standing by the bonfire, exhaust her dialogue. After speaking to her, she can be summoned for the Flexile Sentry boss encounter. Lucatil's summoning sign can be found in one of the houses in No Man's Wharf. The house is easily accessed by dropping down from the ledge near where a body is dangling on the edge. Next, Lucatil can be found in the tower in Lost Bastille. The tower can be accessed from either entrance, by boat from No Man's Wharf after the Flexile Sentry, or by bird after defeating the Pursuer. Exhaust her dialogue here and she'll move on to be a summon for the boss encounter with the Lost Sinner. Her summoning sign can be found in the Lost Sinner's Rise at the base of the elevator that leads to the Flooded Prison. For the next encounter, Lucatil can be found in the Earthern Peak near the bonfire just after the boss encounter with the Covenant Tis Demon. Exhaust her dialogue here and then she'll move on to become a summon for the Smelter Demon. Her summoning sign is just before the fog entrance to the encounter with Smelter. For the final location, Lucatil can be found in the Black Gulch. Just after the first bonfire and before reaching the initial pools of tar, if you look over the edge with the torch lit you can see a ledge that you can drop down to. Drop down to the ledge and proceed up the passage until you find Lucatil. Exhaust her dialogue here. Her summoning sign will then be available at the bonfire located just before the encounter with the Rotten. Lucatil's final meeting place is in a shack just before Aldia's Manor. Exhaust her dialogue here and you'll receive a full set of her gear if Lucatil survived three of four of the boss encounters. Please take these. It should be noted that you can defeat the same boss multiple times with the use of bonfire ascetics within the same playthrough to count toward your three of four victories. Meaning that if you want to, you could defeat the Flexile Sentry three times to count towards all three of your four victories as long as they're within the same playthrough. Finally, if you're only interested in gear, Lucatil can be killed before her final disappearance and then her gear can be purchased from Malentia and Medulla. Alright guys, that's it for Lucatil's questline. Please don't hesitate to check out my other Dark Souls 2 content, and I'll see you in the next one.